are going to the pin event and uh, been collecting the countdown pins. We got every single one without a problem. I've been going, I work during the day, so I have to go at night, way late at night. Like I can't get there till seven or eight o'clock at night, normally on Thursday when they release pins. And so far I hadn't had a problem until this past week when Nemo was released and I was not able to get Nemo. Nemo sold out very quickly. Now I know he's popular, so I think a lot of random people who don't even know what the countdown pin is just saw that it was a really cool limited edition Nemo pin and bought it. But Oh, now that's the Sorcerer Apprentice story I remember. Here he is, getting water dumped on him. Pearly, cute, glittery water being poured on him from the brooms, and he looks a little concerned. He seemed less concerned while he was riding the water wave, and more so now when his feet are just getting wet, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, he's definitely concerned. It's a gorgeous pin. Hat's a little bent. Little buckets. Tossing water. Looks like he's trying to bail it out to no avail. As you know, he gets way overwhelmed. Oh, looks like there's two more. There should be a total of eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven, eight. So we've looked at six so far. We have the last two. Last two right here. Oh. Super awesome. Here's an earlier one. Maybe I'll try to show them again one more time in what is chronological order for the pins. And now that the box is empty, I can remove the peanut box. Here we go. Yeah, out the way. Right. Here we go. Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey. Looks like he's commanding the water bucket, one of the early water buckets. It's dripping water. Doing his best to cast his first magic spells. Super cute. And the last, looks like he's commanding it away, or trying to anyway. In the earlier one, he's marching down the stairs with it happily, right? And here, there's already water down there, and he's trying to send it away. But as we all know, he gets so overwhelmed, he gets deluged, it is Yin Sid that actually comes to the rescue. And that is what we have here. And there's Mickey looking at a myriad of brooms, deluge of water. Yin said, opening the door, saying, What are you doing? Silly boy. How dare you touch my hat? That's awesome. So, if I had to put them in chronological order, we have, this one doesn't really matter. This one, this one could be at the beginning or the end. He has the hat on. Maybe it's at the beginning before Mickey then takes the hat and puts it on for the very first time. And after he puts it on, he starts, Marching down happily with his brooms. Thinking he's doing great and having fun. Going to clean the house with magic very easily. Then maybe he's getting deluged a little bit, but he thinks it's fun. It's all fun and games. Till, oh no, too much water. Panic starting to set in. What do I do? Oh no. And then maybe I command you away. Please stop. Please stop. Maybe he's still coming. Looks kind of like maybe he's still stepping. The broom is still stepping down the steps. Saying no more, no more. Until, oh no. Yen Sid help. That's awesome. Completely awesome. So yeah, um, again, I didn't get that story out, but we will be going to the pin event in September. 
purchasing our tickets. I hear they go on sale in April. We also want to go to the breakfast, so we will definitely be trying to get tickets for that. I don't know how all that works, and I know it's really hard. They sell out pretty quickly. We'll be doing our darndest to try to get those tickets. Just to round out the Be My Valentine, because this was my first opening of some Valentine pins, I will show you the Valentines that I've already previously ordered this year. Here we have the Hades Be My Valentine pin. Um, this is going to be his one of his favorites for sure. Hercules is one of his favorite movies, so he's going to be super happy to get this one. This one I traded for, actually. I traded a limited edition Spellbound um, Maleficent spinner pin for this. This is the Queen of Hearts, Be My Valentine. Traded it at Epcot with a nice lady who then invited me to her pin group, pin group called Disney Pin Pals. Check that out. Ursula. Be My Valentine. Got the shell necklace, which is super cool, holding Ariel's voice hostage as her price to become mortal, to become a human. Ursula is one of his favorite villains of all time. So he will absolutely love this one. I don't know which one he's going to love more. He loves Hades. He loves Chernabog. He absolutely loves Ursula. That's one of his favorites. I don't know if he loves Ursula as much as Maleficent. But this was also an amazing pin. The color on this is awesome. And the green is all sorts of glittery and beautiful. And oh, come on, those horns. It's all about those horns, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed my pin opening video. I will be trying to make some more of these, mainly because I enjoy watching these videos. And um, if I enjoy watching them, I'm sure some of you will too. And I am a crazy collector. I go overboard all the time. As you see, I just go ahead and find things and I have to have them and I get them. And I'm opening pins all the time. I'm trading on pin picks, I'm purchasing things, um, trying to increase our collection. And so I will do my best to uh, share that with you because I enjoy it when people share it with me so I figured I'll share it all with you I'm not in this at all for money I don't make money in fact I, it's the very opposite I do nothing but drown my bank account um, doing this this is a fun hobby for me so I'm just sharing the pin love uh, so hope you enjoyed see, see you in the next video bye